So next, we're going to look at connecting the extension top cap. This is for two-way loading. Um, we've got an appropriate length piece of pipe pre-swaged to make it easier. So the extension top caps essentially replace using a load button, which is usually located in the end of the load cell just here. So we'll need to remove the fitting that's currently in the end of the cell, keeping all of the parts together. And we'll connect the first end into that fitting. As before, finger tight, and then we'll negotiate getting our spanner in there. And giving that a slight twist. Okay, now it's finger tight. With the spanner, we can't undo that anymore. Same with the load button, our extension top cap will screw into the end of the load cell. So what we've done is to locate the fitting in there and then we'll just rotate that around. Okay. Until we're tight and we can see the rams moving around, which means it's tight against the load cell. To create a bit of space, we can always pull the ram further forward now and we can rotate to an appropriate location. Again, removing the fitting that's already currently fitted and provided. A slight twist in the cable to allow for movement up and down. So appropriate length allows for movement of the ram up and down. Finger tight. And then using our spanner, we can just tighten that up. For further information on the extension top cap use, we have a help sheet which we can provide, which details all of the forces and how the extension top cap works and functions. As a quick guide, a lot of silicon grease should be applied to the vilastic sleeve. This is then applied to the top cap, which is fitted on the top of our sample. Placed around the top cap, and leveled using the line provided on the side of the moulding. When we're filling the cell, we'll bring the top cap and extension top cap piece into contact with each other using the silicon grease to provide a nice watertight seal. And with the fitting on the top of the cell venting to atmosphere, this will create our seal and differential pressure connection.